Hello everyone, in the dramatic saga of the British royal family, a new chapter unfolds, and it's hard to ignore the shadow of the most controversial couple in royal history, Harry and Meghan. Whispers abound, eyes roll, and the air thickens with tension as this duo seems determined to drag the family into yet another media maelstrom. Are they truly victims seeking justice, or merely self-serving actors desperate to construct a hollow narrative built on betrayal and deceit, as the world watches with bated breath? Harry and Meghan's latest audacious move involves ensnaring Princess Eugenie in their chaotic web. What was once a cherished family bond is now a strategic ploy as they attempt to wield her as a pawn in their desperate quest for relevance. Is this a genuine attempt to reconnect, or is it a manipulative maneuver aimed solely at securing the limelight? This isn't just about family ties. It's a stark confrontation between tradition and selfish ambition. Eugenie finds herself caught in a precarious position, forced to choose between loyalty to her cousin and her own dignity. It's nothing short of appalling that Harry and Meghan, in their relentless pursuit of attention, would place her in such an uncomfortable role, one of a family spy, torn between conflicting loyalty. The sheer audacity of their actions is staggering. They don't simply wish to reconnect. They aim to exploit Eugenie's royal status while disregarding her individuality and autonomy. Remember the Netflix documentary where she appeared? It was not just a casual family moment. It was a calculated move designed to further the Sussexes' narrative, all while throwing Eugenie under the bus. In doing so, they have transformed her into a mere prop in their ongoing saga, leaving her reputation vulnerable and exposed. And let's not ignore the timing, the news that Harry and Meghan are eyeing properties in Portugal, just as Eugenie and her husband Jack spend time there, raises eyebrows. Is this merely a coincidence, or yet another desperate attempt by Meghan to surround herself with royalties? This behavior echoes a pattern of manipulation familiar to anyone who has followed the couple's antics. In stark contrast to the Sussexes' unrelenting theatrics, Prince William and Catherine, Princess of Wales, stand as paragons of grace and dignity. While Harry and Meghan wallow in their public spectacles, the Waleses demonstrate an unwavering commitment to their royal duties, epitomizing the values of service and respect. Catherine's recent health struggles have only served to highlight their resilience, painting an even clearer picture of the disparity between the two couples. As this family drama unfolds, it becomes increasingly evident that Eugenie is nearing a breaking point. Her attempts to maintain a relationship with Harry, who has publicly lambasted the royal family, have placed her in an untenable position. It's akin to walking a tightrope over a pit of fire. One misstep could result in a public fallout, with her caught between two feuding factions. This is no ordinary family dynamic. This is a high-stakes game of royal chess, played out on a global stage, where the stakes are heartbreakingly high. King Charles, too, finds himself grappling with the fallout from Harry and Meghan's antics. As he strives to modernize the monarchy, the constant chaos instigated by the Sussexes from afar threatens to undermine his efforts. Now, with the couple attempting to manipulate Eugenie into their schemes, the delicate balance of familial loyalty and respect is put to the test. The contrast between Eugenie's poised demeanor and the Sussex's dramatic antics couldn't be starker. While she embodies dignity and discretion, Harry and Meghan appear incapable of going a week without stirring up new controversies. As we reflect on this ongoing saga, it's vital to recognize that Harry and Meghan's tactics are rooted in desperation. With their various ventures failing to produce the desired results, they seem intent on leveraging their last remaining royal connection. But history has shown that manipulation rarely leads to genuine reconciliation. True connections are forged in respect and sincerity, not in coercion or self-serving agendas. Looking ahead, Eugenie finds herself at a crossroads. 
If she chooses to maintain contact with the Sussexes, every interaction will be scrutinized. Should she distance herself, she risks being labeled as yet another person who has wronged them. It's a no-win scenario, crafted entirely by Harry and Meghan's reckless actions. In this captivating chapter of royal history, we are reminded that true royalty is defined by actions, not headlines. As the working royals continue to exemplify commitment to service and dignity, the Sussexes' desperate attempts to cling to their royal ties through manipulation seem increasingly futile. The monarchy has stood the test of time, built on principles far removed from the sensationalism that Harry and Meghan embody. From the outside, it appears that Harry and Meghan are attempting to craft a new narrative, one in which they are the misunderstood heroes fighting against the oppressive forces of the royal family. Yet, as they weave this tale, they rely heavily on manipulation, especially concerning Eugenie. It's almost comical to watch them play their cards. Their strategies resemble those of a novice magician whose tricks are no longer awe-inspiring, but rather painfully obvious. Meghan's apparent efforts to mold Eugenie into her inside informant are nothing short of laughable. The notion that Eugenie would willingly take on such a role suggests a fundamental misunderstanding of family dynamics. Eugenie has her own life, her own priorities, and most importantly, her own reputation to protect. It's ironic that Meghan, who prides herself on breaking free from royal constraints, now seeks to ensnare another royal into her convoluted game. The desperation is palpable and it's hard not to roll one's eyes at the sheer absurdity of it all. Harry and Meghan's strategy appears to hinge on an illusion of closeness, an attempt to portray themselves as still embedded in the royal fabric. Yet this facade is crumbling. Their insistence on being involved in royal events, whether through calculated appearances or covert attempts to insert themselves into family gatherings, underscores a fundamental miscalculation. They are not just unwelcome guests. They are the clowns at the royal circus, drawing the ire and disdain of those who have no desire to indulge in their theatrics. Take, for instance, their brazen attempts to appear relevant. They seem to forget that in royal circles, the old adage, actions speak louder than words, holds immense weight. While Eugenie navigates the tricky waters, of familial loyalty and public scrutiny, Harry and Meghan appear to be paddling furiously against the tide. Their efforts to maintain a narrative of being the enlightened outsiders simply reek of desperation, leaving onlookers shaking their heads at the audacity of their continued intrusion. Timing is everything in the world of royal affairs, and Harry and Meghan have proven themselves to be woefully inept at gauging it. Their calculated attempts to insert themselves into family dynamics often coincide with significant events, creating an unsettling sense of opportunism. For example, their interest in properties in Portugal as Eugenie and Jack vacation there raises eyebrows not only for its timing but for its sheer cheekiness. Imagine attempting to establish a friendly relationship while blatantly capitalizing on someone else's situation. It's as if they believe the world is not watching and that the patterns of their behavior will not be scrutinized. But, alas, the royal watchers are keenly aware of every move, every smirk, and every desperate grab for attention. Harry and Meghan's relationship with celebrity culture further complicates their attempts to reintegrate into royal life. They have embraced a world that often glorifies scandal and sensationalism as if those traits can coexist with the dignity expected of royal representatives. Their frequent forays into the glitzy realm of Hollywood raise the question, can they ever truly return to a world steeped in tradition and propriety? This paradox creates an image of two individuals grasping at straws, attempting to straddle two vastly different worlds. Their efforts to cultivate friendships with A-list celebrities while simultaneously claiming to want a more private life. 
come off as disingenuous at best and farcical at worst. The dichotomy of their existence only serves to amplify the feeling that they are perpetually out of touch with reality. Eugenie's position as a potential bridge between the Sussexes and the royal family is a precarious one. While Harry and Meghan might envision her as an ally, the reality is far less glamorous. They seem to see her as an extension of their brand, a means to an end, rather than as a family member deserving of respect and consideration. This manipulation is nothing new for Harry and Meghan, who have shown a consistent pattern of using those around them to further their own narrative. However, this is a dangerous game to play. Royal watchers are acutely aware of the underlying tensions, and Eugenie herself must navigate these treacherous waters with grace. The pressure is immense, and one cannot help but feel sympathy for her plight. Caught in the crossfire, she is left to fend for herself, while Harry and Meghan act as though they are the true victims of a nefarious plot against them. As the Sussexes continue their charade, the response from the royal family, particularly William and Catherine, has been a study in restraint and dignity. They embody the qualities that the monarchy represents, acting as a counterbalance to Harry and Meghan's chaotic energy. While the Sussexes flail about in their attempts to reclaim relevance, the Waleses are forging ahead, dedicated to their roles and the responsibilities that come with them. This contrast highlights not only the immaturity of Harry and Meghan's actions, but also their fundamental misunderstanding of what it means to be part of the royal family. True royal status is not about grandstanding, it's about service and dedication. As the Sussexes continue to flounder, the royal family remains steadfast, reinforcing the notion that their actions will ultimately speak louder than any publicity stunt concocted by Harry and Meghan. The ongoing drama raises important questions about legacy. Harry and Meghan's relentless pursuit of the spotlight could very well jeopardize their place in royal history. With each self-serving act, they risk tarnishing not only their own reputation, but also that of the royal family as a whole. In their quest for relevance, they seem oblivious to the fact that legacies are built on integrity, not controversy. As they continue to manipulate narratives and sow discord, they may find themselves relegated to the annals of royal history, not as the champions they envision themselves to be, but as cautionary tales of how not to conduct oneself in the public eye. Their actions reveal a troubling pattern, one that prioritizes personal gain over familial bonds and public service. Meanwhile, royal watchers and commentators are having a field day with the Sussexes' antics. The online discourse surrounding their actions has become a virtual battleground with opinions flying left and right. Those who support the monarchy view Harry and Meghan as interlopers, while their fans continue to champion them as brave revolutionaries. The irony, of course, is that their efforts to disrupt the royal family have only served to galvanize support for the very institution they seek to dismantle. The public's fascination with royal drama is undeniable, and Harry and Meghan have become the embodiment of a modern-day soap opera. Each new revelation, each new attempt at drama, only serves to heighten interest in their story, leaving critics both entertained and aghast at their antics. It's a peculiar dance, and one can't help but wonder how long they will continue to lead this charade before the music stops. As we look to the future, it's clear that Harry and Meghan are at a crossroads. Their current trajectory is fraught with peril, and the consequences of their actions are beginning to manifest. The royal family is not a vehicle for personal gain. It is a centuries-old institution rooted in tradition and duty. The Sussexes' attempts to redefine that narrative may ultimately backfire, leading them down a path from which there is no return. What will the next chapter hold for them? Will they continue to flounder in their attempts to reclaim their royalties? or will they finally come to terms with the reality of their situation? The answers remain elusive, but one thing is certain. 
The drama will undoubtedly continue, drawing in audiences and critics alike, each eager to witness the next act in this unfolding royal saga. In the realm of royalty, reputation is everything. Once tarnished, it can be nearly impossible to restore. As Harry and Meghan continue their reckless quest for attention, they may find that their reputations are slipping further from their grasp. The contrast between their actions and the values held dear by the royal family is becoming increasingly stark, and the consequences of their behavior may be more severe than they realize. Every misstep they take only serves to reinforce the notion that they are not fit to bear the mantle of royalty. The fragility of their position is becoming apparent, and as they spiral further into their web of deception, the likelihood of redemption grows dim. Their once promising narrative of reform and enlightenment is rapidly devolving into one of scandal and ridicule. Harry and Meghan's ambition is undeniable, but it comes at a cost. Their relentless pursuit of personal gain has alienated them from their family and the values they once claimed to cherish. The more they seek to manipulate those around them, the more they reveal their true colors. What began as a quest for happiness and independence has transformed into a desperate struggle for relevance, with little regard for the collateral damage left in their wake. True connections are built on mutual respect, trust, and understanding. Qualities that seem to elude Harry and Meghan entirely. The royal family remains a bastion of tradition and dignity, standing firm against the storm of chaos that the Sussexes have unleashed. As we watch this unfolding drama, we can only hope that the strength of the monarchy prevails, safeguarding its values for generations to come. The tale of Harry and Meghan has morphed into a modern fairy tale gone awry, where the once adoring public now watches with a mix of bemusement and horror as these two protagonists clumsily navigate their self-created saga. The drama is a convoluted mess of celebrity ambitions wrapped in a royal facade, one that appears more absurd with each passing day. It's as if the couple is living in a perpetual reality show, constantly vying for attention, yet somehow managing to embody the very definition of cringe-worthy. At the heart of this farce lies an obvious disconnect. Harry and Meghan seem to misunderstand the very fabric of royal life. They have crafted a narrative of victimhood that is as transparent as it is exhausting, turning familial ties into fodder for their personal brand. The audacity with which they drag their loved ones into their chaotic narrative is both fascinating and appalling. It's as if they believe they are the heroes of a grand adventure, battling the archaic traditions of the monarchy, when in reality, they appear more like misguided rebels fighting against a windmill. Their attempts to recruit Eugenie as their inside source is a masterclass in familial manipulation. The idea that a cousin would willingly act as a spy within the royal family demonstrates a level of naivety that is hard to fathom. Watching Meghan flail about, trying to establish a faux alliance while simultaneously undermining the very fabric of royal camaraderie is akin to watching a child play dress-up in their parents' clothes. The absurdity is palpable. Who are they trying to fool? The only thing more cringe-inducing than their antics is the desperate belief that they can still be viewed as relatable figures while flaunting their Hollywood connections and privilege. It's hard to ignore the sheer irony of their situation. Harry and Meghan, who once lamented the burdens of royal life, now seem hell-bent on creating a new kind of spectacle, one that makes their previous lives look almost tame. Their constant need for validation has morphed into a tiresome cycle of publicity stunts, with each move more outlandish than the last. One can't help but shake their head in disbelief at how far they've strayed from the path they claimed to champion. Then there's the cringeworthy irony of their celebrity aspirations. They seem to believe that by aligning themselves with A-listers, they can somehow elevate their status and legitimize their roles as influential figures. But rather than cementing their place 
in the elite circles of Hollywood, they merely appear as guests at a party where no one really knows them, desperately trying to impress while failing spectacularly. It's as if they are stuck in an endless loop of seeking approval, unable to see that their antics only serve to alienate them further from both the royal family and the public. What makes this saga particularly compelling is the stark contrast between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the royal family, who seem to embody grace and dignity even amidst chaos. William and Catherine have managed to carry themselves with poise, facing their own challenges without resorting to the theatrics that have become Harry and Meghan's trademark. Their ability to maintain a sense of purpose and commitment to their roles serves as a refreshing reminder of what true royalty represents. It is difficult not to admire how the Waleses have navigated this tumultuous landscape. They are a study in contrast to the Sussexes, who often appear floundering and out of touch with reality. The Waleses are grounded and focused on their duties, while Harry and Meghan chase fleeting fame like a dog chasing its tail, exhausting, pointless, and ultimately unfulfilling. In the grand narrative of royal affairs, one must question whether Harry and Meghan truly understand the consequences of their actions. Their ongoing theatrics raise eyebrows and inspire snide remarks from observers who see through the facade. Every new venture, every attempt at rebranding, feels like another desperate plea for relevance. It's as though they are holding a mirror to their own insecurities, and the reflection is anything but flattering. It's almost painful to witness their attempts at normalcy while clinging to their royalties. Their entire brand is predicated on a warped sense of identity that simultaneously seeks to distance itself from the monarchy while exploiting it for personal gain. The contradictions are dizzying. They proclaim their desire for privacy while staging elaborate photo ops and public appearances that scream, look at us. The reality is that the public has become increasingly disenchanted with their antics. The allure of celebrity has worn off, replaced by an overwhelming sense of fatigue. People are less interested in the Sussex's sob stories and more concerned with their penchant for self-promotion at the expense of their family. As the story unfolds, it's evident that Harry and Meghan are trapped in a cycle of their own making, desperately clinging to the narrative of being misunderstood outsiders while alienating those who once supported them. Their attempts to reconcile their past with their present are fraught with pitfalls, and the more they try to manipulate public perception, the more they expose their own insecurities. Each interview, each documentary, serves as a reminder of their fragile grasp on reality. They may have left the royal family, but the consequences of their actions are inescapable. Moreover, their blatant disregard for the values upheld by the monarchy is a glaring flaw. True royalty is not just about titles or wealth. It is about service, duty, and a profound respect for tradition. Harry and Meghan's relentless pursuit of their own agendas, without consideration for the institution they claim to represent, highlights their immaturity and self-absorption. They appear more concerned with their personal narrative than with the legacy they leave behind. As we watch this royal soap opera unfold, it's difficult not to wonder where the saga will lead. Will Harry and Meghan continue to spiral, or will they finally recognize the futility of their actions. The public's patience is wearing thin, and their antics are becoming increasingly transparent. It's only a matter of time before the charm of their celebrity status fades, revealing the hollow core of their narrative. In conclusion, the saga of Harry and Meghan is a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of seeking fame at all costs. Their story serves as a stark reminder that integrity, Loyalty and a genuine commitment to family are what truly define royalty. As they navigate the treacherous waters of public opinion and familial relationships, one can only hope that they eventually find their way back to a path of respect and humility, 
Until then, the spectacle will continue, much to the chagrin of royal watchers everywhere, who can't help but snicker at the absurdity of it all.